Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create automatic deployment rules for Windows updates. Create auto automatic deployment rules, but not but disable deployment. So that means you create the rules, but um, we will not be deploying to all the computers. So what you need to do is go into software library and under software library there's a software updates and there's automatic rules we'll just right click on that go to create automatic deployment rules i'm going to call this a monthly update i'm going to create a first package this goes i'm going to choose patch tuesday updates I'm going to choose the collection. I should have created a test collection, but this is for um, training only. So I'm going to choose the all desktop client service. Here is very important. If you don't want this automatic deployment rules to be automatically deployed, you need to uncheck this box. You need to uncheck this box. Um, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click next. Use Wake on LAN. If your environment support Wake on LAN, I would suggest go ahead and check that. Detail levels, only success error message. The some software update include licensing so you can just um, check the second one here you want to automatically deploy all software update found in, by these rules click next date release revise if you want to revise date release last one day i'm going to choose last one month i'm going to click ok update classifications secure updates if you want secure updates only or critical updates i'm going to use critical updates definition updates i'm going to use everything here except service pack and updates also update roll up and tools except service pack and upgrades the upgrade is the um like the feature updates. Click OK. I'm going to click Preview. Here's all the patches. I'm going to close. Click Next. You can tell the rule to run on schedule, or you can tell it to do not run this rule automatically or run the rule after software update synchronization. I'm going to choose the second one. Next. Here's the uh, deployment on the, the schedule of the deployment. Software available time. So actually, let, let me go to the top. Schedule, ava schedule evaluation. So it's client local time. Software available time. Specify when software updates are available after this rule is run. So you want to tell it to make it available four hours after the rule runs, or you can tell it to run to make it available as soon as possible. Installation deadline. You want it to install ASAP, or you want to specify time seven days after. Delay enforcement of this deployment according to user. So if you want user to postpone the deployment, you can check this box. Click next. You want to use a visual experience. You want to turn off the notification. I usually leave uh, choose the second option here. Only shows when it's required restart. Deadline behavior, if you have many windows, you want to ignore many windows, you can check the box here. Devices restart behavior, if you want to 
suppress the reboot on Windows servers you can check the box if you don't check the box it's gonna reboot the computers software updates deployment reevaluate behavior upon restart you can check this box it's gonna re uh, reevaluate after the computer is restarted I'm gonna check that click next These are just alert. You can um, enable this alert. In general alert for this rule fails. General alert for the following condition I met. Client compliance behavior. Clients compliant in below following percent ninety percent. So these you can um, configure how you want it. If you have operation manager, um, you can enable these setting as well click next the deployment package I don't have the monthly update created yet so I'm going to create new ones called monthly update I'm going to put it in office update here monthly update paste that sending priorities medium that's fine enable differential application um, you don't really need to enable this unless you have so network issues I'm gonna click next distribution point choose your DP click OK click next download the patch English language download software update and distribute and install it's a fine click next and click next close here it is see monthly updates the one I just created if you look at the The, um, the tab here, the summary tabs, you will see um, status of the update, uh, the uh, automatic deployment rules. And under deployment settings, as you can see, it's target to all system, but it's currently disabled. This means it will not install patches unless you enabled it. So if you want to change it to enable you just do um, right click and click on add a deployment oh sorry oops go to properties and you want to so you want to enable this you need to go to property and click on enable this should change to yes so now it's going to automatically install once it runs the um, automatically updates so any computers that in this collection it will get the patch based on this information um, enabled here if you have any questions um, please put in your comment section and thank you for watching the video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Office 365, Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Intune, Configuration Manager, SCCM, everything related to applications deployment, Windows 10 deployment. Thank you for watching and have a good day.